What up, fish people? Kenny E with Danikin Aquatics. Well, guys, as promised, I've been talking about doing it for a while for you guys now. At this point, I'm going to give you the start of the most recent updated Danikin Aquatics fish room tours. This will be segment one of about seven or eight. I'll try to do them as I go along. But to give you guys an idea, this is uh, the most recent room that we did. It's got, and we're already updating this again. So another two years, I'll give you another update. But to give you an idea what's going to be going on here, um, there's going to be 55 gallons on top. So that one is going to get transferred out of here. Uh, that one's fine. There's going to be a 75 gallon put right next to it. Those row of 20s there will be 255s and then down below will be an additional 40s as you see we've started here. Um, our plans are, I've got a, this thing has nothing in it at this point. So anyway, that's what we're up to. Give you an idea of what we got going on in here. So in here I have my and they're very stressed out. That's something I've got to work on when I get done. I got to get them some more structure in here because they're not real happy. But this is my two rock keel severums. And like I said, I'm going to get them into a better rock situation. I'm probably going to have to get some dithers in here because they're quite stressed out, as you can see. So that's something I'm going to work on. We won't spend a lot of time on them because I don't want to stress them out. But they are gorgeous guys. We'll do update videos on them as they get more acclimated. Then over here is my pair of Black Devils. This is the male. And they are in a 55 gallon. And this was a heavily planted tank, but as you can see, or not heavily planted, but I had lots of val in there for them. So a problem with South American cichlids, man, or Central American, either or. Africans, as far as that goes, is these jerks will not allow you to have plants. So that's the little female. That's the male. They've bred probably three, four times. The eggs still have not taken. So I'm thinking that the male is sterile or is not doing his business because uh, within two days of being laid, they, they pretty much go away. Love the blue eyes on him, though. These are in the same family as your Midas or your Red Devils. And this guy is about full max length. This might grow another inch or so. The females always stay smaller. But super cool fish. Glad I have it in the fish house. Love them to death. Now, these 40s that we're going to be doing down here... Never mind that tub because it won't be here, but all these 40s eventually will become breeding projects for plecos. Uh, this room is probably 90% going to be plecos when we're done. It's going to be our pleco breeding area. Uh, we right now have um, about eight lines of different types of plecos that we are doing. Uh, of the eight, I've got Four, I believe breeding at this point we've got the L236 RB line have bred already um, we've also got our uh, albino bristle nose the long fin albino bristle nose the super red bristle nose I got my L333s just to name a few that are already breeding then I also in the house have um, L236 super white line and then I also have my L82s so there'll be some cool things coming down the road I'm also acquiring a few more lines I won't say anything about them until we get them in the house but moving right along with the tour still so in this tank is my blue diamond shrimp we got these from the garden the eater and they have been very very I, I sold about 200 of these at the last swap and as you can see I still got tons of them these guys have been very prolific and all these shrimp get are shrimp envy food
But the blue diamonds are generally one scale above the blue dream shrimp. Super, super cool fit little shrimp. I mean, how can you not love those guys, huh? Just digging away, having a good old time. I don't know why my, there's too much green in there, I guess. It's why it's not wanting to uh, focus. So we will take the auto off and see if I can get it to... Yeah, my autofocus doesn't seem to be working too well for you guys, does it? Anyway, we'll move along. It's probably just because of shrimp. Now, this tank right now is currently... Um, I'm holding some fish for some friends. Uh, they wanted some of the super whites when I got mine. So in here I have uh, nine super whites right now that are going to be being shipped off to other folk. Uh, once that is done and I get them shipped off, this is most likely going to become another uh, pleco breeding project. Or I was thinking those two or those two could end up in here. I would like to get them each a little better platform. Actually, the Severums will probably be what ends up in here. But again, just a 75 gallon. And of course, as you all know, when you keep Plecos, you're spending a lot of money on something that you very rarely receive. There's one hanging out underneath that rock over there. See if I can zoom in. See his little body. So anyway, those are some of my friends' fish that will be going to them soon. So in this tank, this is mostly about the shrimp. These guys are most likely going to get cold. Or if somebody out there in fish tube land would like them, you're welcome to them. It's just a wild strain of uh, Endler. Nothing fancy. And then I also have some blue sapphire leftover shrimp from a other breeding project. Again, most of these tanks are going to be getting broken down. Most of the inhabitants will be being sold or going away. With the exception of this tank, this is our cherry shrimp shank. And in here we have our stack endler colony. And do I got air in here? I'm not seeing air. No, we don't. Let me get that turned up. We got no air going. Make sure that air is pumping. The problem when you have too many tanks, man, you lose track of stuff. So I will check on that again in a bit. But as you can see, beautiful red color on these shrimp. These are our, how we call them our A line of cherry. Super sexy. And we've probably got, I wouldn't know, probably a couple hundred shrimp in here anyway. It does bother me that that air is not working. I've been fighting this, but we will wait till the video's over to mess with that. And then next to that is the remnants of the dragons I had. I'm down to two males and one female left. I do have somebody that bought a bunch of these from the, me at the last swap. So most likely I will take these to the next swap and just hook her up. Oh, we got fry in here again too. But again, I also have on the bottom another blue. I think these are just regular blue sapphires. I've got probably 15 of them in here. They most likely will be going to another shrimp tank. As I transition this room but the guppies in here are phenomenal I love them but Danny and I are changing up the fish house pretty well we're only gonna have like five lines of uh, live bears when I'm done maybe six it's mostly gonna be a shrimp and pleco show and then in this tank are my Vienna guppies this is another line that I'm going to be selling off. 
They won't be around much longer. But they are a great line. Nothing wrong with the fish. It's just, unfortunately, we're out of room. So we had to make some painful choices. Which ones stay, which ones go. And I do, I do not know why my camera is having so much issues today, but it is. Anyway, this is another tank that will be getting broken down and a 55 will take up this spot of these two tanks. It's, it's exciting growing, but at the same time, it's sad because you sometimes have to make decisions in your fish house that Danny and I have always been hoarders of our fish, so it's real tough for us to give up the reins on them. So those will be going down. Oh, that one spit some weird colors. And down below here is my green jade colony. And they're a real pretty green jade. I had the colony going real well and I made the mistake and sold about a hundred of them. And it stunted the colony on me. So I had to uh, go ahead and buy some more. But I, I like them. The only problem with the green jades is you have to cull them quite a bit, man. I'm trying to see where some of more of these are. You have to cull these guys pretty good. I don't know what that thing is. These snails are everywhere in here too, but anyway, that's that. Then over here, guys, this is one of the tanks that will most likely be getting converted as well. This is going to be eventually getting turned into a Pleco tank, but right now it's housing another line of our cherry shrimp. And we're going to probably put and for the time being, this will be the last 55 that we set up. The cherries that were in that tank right there are going to all end up in here. We'll let them chill out in here until we finish the rest of this room with the 55s, getting everybody set up and situated and the 40s all filled. Then this will be the last tank that we convert. By then, we'll have the room across from this one converted, hopefully. That is going to be our... Uh... Yeah, these shrimp are pretty good quality cherries too some people I like that one they would consider a Bloody Mary but Danny and I's Bloody Marys are a lot darker than that so that's that guys that's this room well like I said be looking for more videos to drop soon as always love your fish this is gonna be Kenny E with Danica Aquatics check it out for now have a good one peace